Salutations everyone and welcome back to a new episode and it is finally time time to finish Saudi Arabia and start the last mission we have here so let's do this and once again Westridge will be our handler and this time only one piece of intel was available for the mission which is, of course, as always, a map for uh, the area. So let's start. This is it, Mike. We can't let either the missiles or Shahid get past us. Shahid's here to oversee the transport of the missiles. We can kill two birds with one stone. Birds. You need to get to the control tower. Check the transport logs. Once we have those, we can pinpoint the missile's exact location. So nothing on satellite. We're going to need you to transmit the exact coordinates. There's a lot of area to cover, and Alzheimer knows how to hide their stockpile. So we are back on the airfield. And things look slightly different now. Let's get an overview of the situation. Of course, that means. Ah, come on, turn around. Mm, that must have hurt. So, could use the zip line. Uh, we should probably wait until he's gone. Well, otherwise, he might see us. We don't want that. Ah, come on. Come on. A shadow robot if can't solve. <laughs> and stealing money again. There's a computer. It's still there. So, there's one. And there is the other. Got a present for you. A batch of files from the Alcimont servers. Excellent work, Mike. I am amazing. All this stuff down here. It's like Christmas. Oh, well, I guess Easter would be more appropriate. And I think there was something here. Yes. 
some money. Something we can always use. So, now someone is looking directly down the stairs. Nothing we can't solve. Something else? Nope. Where are they? Sing him another beat. So, one here, one there. Anyone moving? Mm -hmm. I think he is moving. Yes. his mistake. Oh. Check the logs now. That's one. Nope. Ah, that's one. That's another. The missiles aren't anywhere near the runway. Looks like they're being held in a munitions depot in the mountains. Checking the satellite imagery now. Looks like there's a small trail that leads to the rear of the depot. Marking it on your PDA. On it. So, we are leaving the uh, airfield. They should really hire better guards. Guess this is where planes go to die. That's where all the planes are from the airfield. Always wondered. It's too far away. Towards me, just as I suspected. Let's see, he should turn around soon. Like now, and then we can put him to sleep. I do 
the same with him. And we climb over the fence and continue. Well position camera. It's me! Well, you did ask the question. Do a lock. Just because I could. So. Go back again. How unfortunate. So let's climb the mountain or walk against a tree. Two. I'm not sure if the if this is supposed to be wind rustling through the leaves or the ocean, could be both. And two guys, one of them intently looking at boxes. one and the other one is at least doing something productive <laughs> putting circles around locks all right let's hack this one I really hope they're expecting a returning mm. patrol that's one and the other one's right below and I'm making this easy oh no a guard So we stole everything here, so... Let's see if we can't convince these people to let us in. And of course he's looking inside the compound. Yes, that sounds smart. I feel like I'm back in the detention camp. Good night. Keypad coming up. Uh, let's 
everything. One, two, three, and do more guys. to go then he was gone another lock let's open it I hope there's money inside yeah Not much. Eight hundred dollars. What am I supposed to do with that? That's barely enough for breakfast. Dude, more people. And this is either the toilet or no, they're just. All looking out of the window. Mm -hmm. There's one guy over in the corner, so I should be careful. One on the roof and two on the ground. Can I tell him good night? Yes, I can. No. Hmm. If I knock him out, he's directly under the camera. That's not a good idea. Hmm. I could use the sniper rifle, but I would prefer a non lethal run, so I guess we go back down. Try to get them the old fashioned way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh no, one is inside the building, alright. I can get him. Waiting. Where's the one on the? Wait a second. Interesting. Apparently, the guards actually change. Depending on where you enter, that's a new one. Morgark who looks intently at walls. Why are these people looking at Anyway. One more fellow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bit 
appears to be time for... <laughs> Never saw me coming. So, let's go inside from here. Got a visual on the missiles. Looks like they're being loaded into a convoy outside the warehouse. You need to get to it before they roll out. Once they're mobile, our job gets a lot harder. Yeah, I know. On it. One guy there. Ah, deactivate cameras. That's good. Security is down. Don't have to worry about the cameras anymore, just about the people. That's a problem we can solve. Ooh, can activate them again. How oh, utterly useless. I hope he's not coming inside here. Would be an awkward encounter. No, he isn't. He looked so intently away from me as if he didn't want to see me. <laughs> oh well. There's a guard. There's a guard. There's a guard. A lot of guards here. But not enough. She looked in the right direction. Oh, bad for him. I wonder if there's something inside here that we can appropriate. Yes, Ugh. a thousand dollars. What do you get for a thousand dollars? A cheap breakfast? Something like that, isn't it? And locks. Ooh, cutscene. Looks like most of the trucks have already headed out. Wait a minute. And you have heard nothing from the control tower. No, Shin. But your plane is prepped and ready for takeoff, as you asked. Looks like Shahid's got a whole lot of ugly with him. Something is wrong. Have our men come to meet the trucks at the checkpoint with the assault vehicles? At once, Shin. It's Shahid. Should I take the show? No, if we do that, we lose the missiles. But if you can still intercept the convoy, we have a chance. to put them in. Yeah. Damn it. Looks like the convoy's already headed out. The road the convoy's on snakes through the mountains. If you use the foot trails and move fast, you may be able to catch it at the checkpoint. Great day for a jog. 
Perché te lo... I can get into somehow. I can't like, get him. Yes. Can I get him? No. Hello, two down there. Running out of time, Mike. I'm on it. A lot of ground. Control. I'll get there. <laughs> that wouldn't have been necessary. Looks like Shahid's second in command. And he's brought friends. They're probably there to meet up with the convoy. You need to take them out now. The trucks will be here any minute. Don't know if he knows you're coming. If you can get behind to his position without being spotted. Might be able to prevent him from warning the convoy. Got it. See if you can't sneak up on me. Finally.
is the striker. Yeah. I agree. Tech to resolve this problem. Inside, his head's got to be ringing. Good job, Mike. Now be careful. Check to see if she keeps still breathing. Oh. Oh, he looks fine. So, you thought the death of one terrorist leader would somehow fix the world? I had a mission, I carried it out. Yes, and I would commend you, but you're effectively persona non grata around here. That makes two of us, then. There's always one thing I wanted to know. After you killed Shahid, why you did what you did next? Were you trying to find out what happened to your friends? Or were you after me? Trying to bring down Hellback, perhaps? Or maybe you were just cornered, looking for a way out. Yeah, with that tie, no wonder. I would feel cornered too. After your extortion of Nasri, I was expecting a more mercenary welcome. Have you come to kill me, as you killed my followers? On behalf of the American government, I am here to take you into custody, Shahid. Behalf of America? America answers only to its wealth. Coming from one of the richest men in the Middle East and son of a privileged family, that seems... ironic. You are here because America's greed demands it. Your country sleeps at Helvet's feet like a dog, hungry for its weapons. Save the preaching. I'm here for the missiles you stole. The missiles I stole, they shipped them to me. Then brand me a thief? I was ordered to recover missiles that were stolen from Halbeck, except now you're telling me they were sold. So? There is no difference. There's a huge difference. And everyone who died on that airliner would agree, because that means there's two murderers, not one. Halbeck will never answer for what they did. And you have destroyed all evidence of their involvement. You're still breathing. My testimony will never survive me. In custody, I will be found. Hang a suicide. Go back to your Helvec masters. Tell them of your great success. I don't work for Halvec. Ah, and neither did I. A comforting thought, but it is a lie. You already know something is wrong. The data you found in the detention cells of our camp, that was not stolen, this old data. That was given to us. You have two choices. You can believe me or kill me. Elbeck uses you, but you do not see their influence. You will. Trust me in this. I believe you. But evidence would help. 
The missiles are not enough? Perhaps not. I have other information, and I can obtain more. You mean if I let you go? No chance. I give you my word. If you know anything about me, you know I honor a promise when given. When you see Helbeck for what it is, I will come back and speak to you again. I will not hide. And I will bring proof. All right. I'm willing to see it. What is this proof? Call your agency. Tell them I am dead. But to remove yourself from the area first, before they call. Give false coordinates. Unless you wish to speak to your God next. Where are you going? I will contact you. And I think the information I can provide will be worth the time you have spent looking for me. What a charming Mine. fellow. I like I'm him. I'm here. Except for the fact that he killed a lot of people. Dell with Shaheed. And the missiles. I've disabled the convoy. I haven't confirmed how many missiles we've recovered. Your first priority is to... Westridge? Westridge, do you read me? Mike, get out of there. Mina? I'm tracking multiple missiles homing in on your coordinates. Get out of what there. What the hell? That's overkill. How did they get these coordinates? That's the other problem. I think they have someone inside Alpha Protocol. And whoever it is fed them the coordinates for the missile strike. Is there a way to track down who had access to my coordinates? Not cleanly, no. But it had to be one of your handlers in Saudi Arabia. Well, that's a short list. I'd like it to be shorter. Any other facts you can give me? If I knew more, I'd share. No one knows I'm talking to you right now. So it's either Darcy, Parker, Westridge, you, or me. Although, how I could give myself away is anyone's guess. Maybe it's Westridge's way of getting rid of the new recruits. Is that why you cut them off when the missiles were detected? There wasn't time to ask for permission. As soon as I detected the missiles, I interrupted the call. I don't think he even knows I did it. Fine. So I need to get back to base. Can you get any choppers out here? Mike, you can't come back. What? You're rogue. I checked the feeds. They've already sent out notifications to the intelligence agencies about your status. If they find you, they'll give you up to the government. If they don't kill you first. Wait, what about Alpha Protocol? That's what the agency is for. To allow agents to carry out no. ops like this. It's to allow the government to deny ops like this. So that if they're exposed, they can say they had no involvement. Mike, you're on your own. Alpha Protocol's the only thing protecting you right now. Yay! Yay for Black Ops. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at what we did, dog. Oh. Dude, I'm still analyzing the information I got from Shahid, but so far it checks out. He's been busy. So is Halbeck. So there was a connection between Al Samad and Halbeck. Looks that way. But what worries me is why. According to this, Halbeck's got three targets. Taipei, Rome, and Moscow. Transmitting the information now. Looks like the missiles were shipped through Moscow. Halbeck's got a distributor there, or had one. As for Rome, it looks like an Al Samad cell was activated, but I don't know why. And in Taipei, Ronald's son, the president of Taiwan. Someone's been ordered to assassinate him. This doesn't make sense. What does Halbeck hope to gain? A profit. Halbeck wants to raise global tensions, spark a cold war, and turn the world into their private marketplace. 
they'll be able to secure military contracts and a steady consumer base for their weapons for years to come, if they succeed. I need to get this information where it will do some good. No one will listen, Mike. Not only are you rogue, but Halbeck's got an inside alpha protocol somehow. If you're caught... I know. Execution, imprisonment, possibly another lecture by Westridge. I'm on my own. No, not exactly. They used you. But we can use Alpha Protocol. There's so many levels of secrecy to it. Not even the staff know all the resources the program has. Like? Safe houses, weapons. If you're going after these targets, you'll need a base of operations in each city. I can dig up some spots that aren't listed in any records. Like this one? Better. <laughs> I think. It sounds like you're going after these targets then. Just because they tried to drop a missile on me doesn't mean I'm giving up on my mission. If Halbeck's trying to manipulate world events, it's my responsibility to stop them. Also, I don't like that they used me to do their dirty work, sending me to kill Shahid and get their merchandise back. No way am I letting them get away with that. Judging from the data, Mike, it may be a good thing. If Halbeck's trying to cause a cold war... They've made a mistake. They're going to cause a real one. Well, that, that sells weapons too. Hey, my specialization. All right, let's do it. Mm, let's go with operative. So, we of course select stealth pistols and. Hmm. This gives me brilliance. Hmm. But this makes hacking a lot easier. What else do we get here? Well, just to explain this, the, the specialization skills uh, allow us to eventually invest in the last five skill points and only in the selected skills. All other skills are limited to the first ten skill points. So, let's see what we... Hmm... Sabotage or technical aptitude? I go with sabotage. Right, that's done. The reporter, the photographer, Scarlet. You met her leaving Saudi, then in Taipei, but after that, we lost track of her. Guess you've got limits after all. I always wondered how you two happened to meet. Coincidence? I don't know. So, now we can choose which uh, scenario you want to go first. And I do like Taipei, so let's go there first. And of course, Mina is our handler, and we have maximized our reputation with her. And, um... That gives us constant encouragement 2 and humans plus 15, which is nice. But first we have to fly there. And fly we do! <sighs> you wouldn't believe the day I've had. I think I've got you beat. You ever been a pushy woman in the heart of Arabia? Once. Lost a bet. Cute. Yeah. You could keep that up the entire flat, I bet. Did you already have plans? I was going to invite you to slow down. Sorry, I get a little antsy before flights. Last time I was in an airplane, it wasn't the smoothest trip. I can relate. I've spent far too much time on planes lately. What are you doing in this lovely part of the world, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> you first. No one would believe that. Secret agent. Right. 
<laughs> it's better if you don't believe me anyhow. All right, be honest. Has that worked on anyone? How impressed are you? Not. All right. My turn's over. How about you? Those your legs? Other page. Cover story by Scarlet Lake. Hmm. I heard she's on this flight. Photo she's red hair. Isn't that a yeah. bit dangerous, Scarlet? If there's no risk, it's not important. By the way, I'm Mike. Here, call me. I have a lot of contacts in the area. Maybe we can work out a trade. If you should hear anything, of course. What if I want to call, just to be endearing? You should call someone else. Wow, you're tough. It seems to be endearing, unfortunately. It is. But I'll only call for business. That wasn't a line. What a welcome surprise. Yeah, I'm full of them. But surprises. Uh, and it, that sounded like a line. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Well, I should really get some work done. Yeah, and I should, uh... Good night, Mike. Yeah suspicious at all this is it it's very crappy maybe you should unwind after the flight maybe take a shower that might be more tempting if you were here that might have to wait until we aren't fugitives from our own government a man can dream though a man can dream it's disgusting isn't it well let's take a shower although that can't be clean Woo! Are you sure about this? Positive. Trust me. Okay. See? Nice. What did I tell you? This. This is why I love you. You can send roses to my dead drop in Prague. Now that you've made it to Taipei, what are your plans? Priority one is to find out more about this assassination attempt. Agreed. How are you going to go about it? I've got three leads to start with. This Stephen Heck guy seems like he knows what's going on in Taipei. He might be able to answer some questions. Be careful, Mike. I checked my databanks, and I can't find any evidence that Stephen Heck has ever worked for the CIA. I'll be on my guard. There's also that anomalous data trail from Shahid's system. Any luck tracing it down? I managed to follow it back to a place in the warehouse district. I'm forwarding the address to you now. What's the final lead? Simple. Follow the money. Shahid was funneling large amounts of money to a front corporation for the White Oak Mountain Triad. I think I can persuade them to tell me why. Sounds like you've got everything figured out. Isn't that why you love me? You watch yourself out there, Mr. Thornton. Always. Amazing. And, of course, we'll invest all those points into stealth. So, concealment better form of evasion and shadow operative Yahoo! and the rest we invest in uh, ooh, in sabotage cash bonus for hacking plus 50 percent that sounds nice all right that is that <laughs> And with that, I guess we should finally end this episode. It is long enough. And um, I will see you hopefully the next time. Until then, I wish a most pleasant day. Goodbye.